so what I'm doing is I have my iPad Pro connected from the headphone out into the input of my electron analog heat and I'm using the analog heat to implement some sort of harmonics onto the iPad signal before it goes into my MPCX because as you know the iPad has a whole lot of apps that you could download that are essentially emulations of plugins that you have on your computer but it's not analog it's digital so that's why I'm running it through there and I can implement some character onto the sound another angle at the MP while I actually sample. So, pick a new sound. That was a long one. Okay. Yeah, we're just sampling, man. We're just sampling. That's all we're doing.
put 16 sounds on this particular kit because I'm do just doing it as an example you feel me so but what you would do after that is you would go to save current program what I would do personally is I would save it onto my internal so I would go to my XPMs double tap that and then inside of there I would make a new folder and I'm going to call this I'm gonna name it Sound Canvas. I'm gonna say Roland SC Kit One. Boom. And then same thing. Roland SC for sound canvas kid one do it save and now that kit that I just made is in my internal hard drive under XPMs in the Roland folder right here Open that up. All the samples are here. The XPM program kit is right there. And those, those are all the WAV files. You can even audition them. And if you ask me, these sounds sound pretty damn good coming through that analog heat. Like, I shit you not, they really do sound a lot better than just listening to your iPad on headphones or sampling your iPad directly into your MPC. Like, I'd, I'd recommend getting some type of, um, some type of addition to your signal path. Uh... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, trying to see if I had something else I could show you guys, but no, nah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I could also, I could also go like this, and I could resave it. Save the same program again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to my internal. So, programs, save. So now the kit is on the 16 gig hard drive that's built into this, in addition to being on the 500 gig hard drive that I installed. The only difference between those two hard drives is the hard drive that's built in to the MPC cannot be read by your computer. The hard drive that you install into your MPC can be read by your computer. So with that being said, I could plug up my MPC to my computer and drag that same kit onto my computer and use it with my, my desktop software or I could save it onto a hard drive or a thumb drive and give it to one of my friends but what I'm probably going to end up doing is turning it into an expansion. So I might do like a rolling sound canvas expansion. And, you know, you'll see. Coming soon. Beats by Rossi. Thanks for watching.